Hi, welcome to Missologist. Um, so today, what we're gonna do is, I want to show people that you can really have maybe four to five ingredients on hand and make a ton of different cocktails. Why this is useful is because I feel like people get very overwhelmed by mixology. Um, I know I have in the past looking at recipes, you know, I'm like, ah, I don't have all that stuff. I don't have, you know, for example, I'm uh, going to be making a Alabama video, Al uh, Alabama cocktails um, as part of my state cocktails series. And you know, I'm looking at their recipes and I'm like, oh God, I don't, I don't have, you know, Southern comfort. I don't have Sinara Amaro, like there's a lot of stuff you might not have, right? And so, or you go in a liquor store and you're like, oh God, what do I do? There's too much stuff, it's confusing. And uh, because I got into mixology probably only a, you know, a few years ago, I'm still learning and I'm still having that same reaction of like, I don't have that stuff. The thing is, as your collection builds up, you will have more stuff, obviously, but I think it's really important to show people that you don't need a lot of stuff to do mixology, to entertain your friends, to make drinks. Um, you can start out very simply and your, your repertoire of drinks will be huge just with these few ingredients. Okay, so what are these ingredients that you can use and make a lot of cocktails with. Um, well, the first obvious, you know, requirement for a cocktail would be the liquor. And so today what I'll be showing you is drinks made with vodka and drinks made with light rum and dark rum. Um, now there are other combinations you can do with gin, with uh, tequila, with other stuff. Um, you can use this, a lot of the same stuff. So you can do, you know, you can, sorry, my dog is making noise. You can do tequila, dry curacao, or, you know, triple sec, or whatever orange liqueur you have, lime juice, and you have a margarita, right? Simple syrup if you want it, some other flavoring. And you have a margarita. Um, you can do other things, you can make, a bee's knees, like I showed you in my other video, with honey syrup, lemon juice, gin, right? So, I'm not saying these are the only alcohols with which you can do this. You can actually make a lot of drinks with a lot of different alcohols. But, I happen to think that vodka and rum are, make very approachable cocktails and will please a variety of people, right? because you can make things like a lemon drop, which a lot of women like, um, or you can make a daiquiri, uh, which is not that frozen thing they have in New Orleans or whatever. It's not, it's, it's a, it started in, in Cuba and it's delicious, but it, it's not frozen. Uh, you can make a Moscow mule, which I think everyone would like. You can make a dark and stormy. You can make a gimlet. You can make a Collins, which is literally just the alcohol, the, fruit juice and, you know, soda water, basically. You could make a fizz, you can just, yeah, trust me, you can make a lot of stuff. But so I'm gonna show you some of the things you can make with these few ingredients that we've got here. So, first of all, we're going to make a lemon drop because Whenever I'm out with friends, that seems to be the most popular cocktail people want um, and request. Which, you know, I understand lemon drops are very, very good. So, we're gonna put in two shots of vodka. And again, this is the liquor. So, this is the liquor element, okay? The other ingredient you'll want to have on hand is lemons and limes. I've talked about this before, you always want to use fresh lemons and limes. Never, ever, ever use, never, ever, ever use this stuff. Oh, I don't have any right now, but those little lemons or those little limes. Um, oh, right. Um, do 
actually happen. So don't ever use this. Okay, just don't, trust me. It will not taste the same. Your cocktails will just not be good. So don't use that. Use real fruit, real fruit. Lemons and limes. The other thing you'll wanna have on hand is a sweetener of some kind. So I made a simple syrup today, which is just hot water and sugar equal parts. Now some cocktails are gonna require different kinds of sweeteners, so for example, um, a daiquiri, you're gonna wanna use demerara syrup instead of simple syrup. And that just means you take demerara sugar and do the same exact thing with demerara sugar instead of regular sugar. And the reason is because rum is made from sugar cane, um, and so that, it has more of a molasses taste to it usually, and so demerara sugar just goes better with the rum than simple syrup does. Simple syrup goes better with your, with lemon and, and citrus and clear liquors, I would say. Um, and then obviously some drinks, you will have no sweetener. So for example, the Moscow Mule and the Dark and Stormy use ginger beer. And that has sweetener in it and you don't really need to add any sweetener. So let's recap. The four ingredients, at least four ingredients that you'll wanna have on hand for all these drinks are a liquor of some sort, a fruit, preferably two fruits, simple syrup or you know demerara syrup, and something like ginger beer as a mixer. But you can go crazy with this. You can get any kind of syrups you want. You can get, you know, blood orange, you can get uh, blackberry mint, some of the other ones I've used in my other videos. And you can just add them to these drinks and uh, and you'll make your own cocktails so um so um all oh, right so let's do the uh, the lemon juice next okay. so again I am now making a lemon drop because it seems to be a very popular cocktail amongst the female species, no, we're not a separate species, whatever, the females in the population. Okay. We might seem like a different species, but we're not, I promise. Um, okay, so I'm doing the lemon I'm using this today because it gets so much more juice out than that other one does. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put um, a shot of lemon juice in. Hopefully the seeds will just strain out. Okay, and then we're gonna put half a shot to three quarters of a shot of simple syrup in. Personally, I don't like my cocktails that sweet, so I'm gonna do half a shot. But if you like sweeter cocktails, then you can always do more than that. Um, so now what we're gonna do with the lemon drop, and actually one thing you could do is take the lemon um, and put lemon juice around the rim and you know rim it with sugar. A lot of people do that, and a lot of restaurants will do that with the lemon drop, but it's not strictly necessary. I'm gonna get ice over here. Sorry, I think we got ice cubes in here. She added the juice. Okay. Close it back. Doesn't show. Oh, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna add about three to four ice cubes per usual. Um, I'm not gonna make all the drinks, you guys, because that's a lot of a lot of drinks, but I will give you all the recipes for all the different drinks um, because I think that's important. Okay, so we're gonna shake our lemon drop now. I'm gonna make my shake face. You will develop very strong arm muscles if you do this regularly. Alright, we're going to strain this into the coupe glass. And we have
have our lemon drops. And I would say you could garnish this with lemon peel, you could garnish this with a lemon wedge, you can rim the outside with sugar, you can add other stuff to this, you know, have fun, have fun with it. But if you only have those three ingredients on hand, you've got yourself a lemon drop. vodka is um, a bit stronger than other vodkas that I've had but so it's coming through a bit more but also part of that could be that I should have added more simple syrup but I again don't like my cocktails overly sweet so I did not add more syrup and that's just my personal okay so next we're making some cocktail a cocktail that doesn't actually need a cocktail shaker, which can also be nice for people because some people don't have cocktail shakers. What we're doing is we're gonna make a Moscow Mule. And normally a Moscow Mule would be served in one of those copper mug things, but uh, I don't have one right now and, you know, whatever. I usually just have them in a regular glass. So it really doesn't matter what you uh, put it in. And this glass might be a little small for this, but again, I don't think it's fine because I'm not. I'm just showing you guys how to do this. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, lime juice, lime juice. So we're gonna want to take half a lime, get the juices out of it, hopefully. So this lime has juice. probably use for this but it's fine and then you top it with about six ounces of ginger beer again I'm not doing that because I'm not using a full-sized glass but you would put about six ounces of ginger beer and personally I really like fever tree um, there are a lot of other brands out there Q is another really good one but fever tree is very good so now, um, you just drink it. There's really nothing else to a Moscow Mule. Um, it's really, really simple. Mm -hmm. And delicious. And I'm not going to make, again, all the drinks because I don't need to, but um, you basically do the same thing for a dark and stormy. Okay, you take dark rum for a dark and stormy, two shots of dark rum, you put some lime juice in there, and you put some ginger beer in there. So it's essentially a Moscow Mule, but with dark rum. Um, in terms of a daiquiri, daiquiris are very, very easy too. Daiquiris are light rum. Light rum. 
lime juice, and simple syrup. Um, but again, you'll want to make the demerara not the uh, regular simple syrup because the demerara is going to have that richer molasses flavor that goes really well with the rum flavor. But, uh, so I will put all those recipes up here and um, you can also check out my website, mixologist.com. I have a really great blog post about these drinks and the recipes and like more of the drinks that you can make and we also have mini kits that are, you know, all of these drinks. But given that you, you don't need that much to make them, I'm confident all of you guys can go out and do this. Um, you can even make a simple fizz. You can make a, um, you know, gin and tonic. You can make um, really so many drinks just with a couple of liquors, some fruit, a sweetener, and maybe a mixer like ginger beer. So anyway, I gotta go, but I'll see you in the next video and cheers.